To make one of the super fancy split screen duet videos, you will need headphones that plug into your iPhone or iPad and the acapella app, which is available for Apple products. I downloaded this a long time ago where it let you make one minute videos for free and anything fancier required a paid subscription. I have a hunch that they've upped the requirements in terms of trying to get you to pay for it. I don't know what the current requirements are, but don't get in trouble paying for something if your parents don't want you to. But I'll show you how to use this anyway in case you would like to go for this because it makes it super easy and super fun to make a video with yourself. So when you're in this app, you'll have to set up an account. And then when you're ready to record, push the red button in the middle. You're going to click record new project. Click on classic and then you get to choose how many screens you want and what configuration you want them in. Right now, I'm just gonna demonstrate a simple two-part thing. Go ahead and pick the maximum that it will let you pick for free if you're trying to do this for free. Right now, I can do one minute maximum for free. If I wanna do a longer video, I'd have to pay and I, I don't wanna pay for it. So, moving on. When you're ready to start, click whichever window you want to record first. And then when you're ready, click the record button. It'll give you a countdown and then it will start recording. I recommend that you either verbally or visually count yourself off so that when you record the second video, you know when to start. It says headphones recommended. So I want you to hear this, so I'm not gonna plug in headphones, but you'll get a much cleaner quality video if you are using headphones. So here we go. One, two, three, la. After you stop recording, it'll ask you, do you wanna go on or do you wanna redo? And then you can decide again if you want to keep that and continue or if you want to redo. If you keep it, you can always redo it again anyways. So right now we're gonna keep this because I'm just showing you how this works. And then now you've recorded your video for your top half of your screen. To record the other video, click in the space where you want the video to go and click record. So it'll count you off and it plays your recording. Ah, okay, I didn't hear anything because I didn't have headphones plugged in. So what it what I think it did is it just disabled the audio because it doesn't want the audio you already recorded getting recorded in your second frame. So that's why it's really important to have headphones and then it will play the video you already recorded so you can hear it while you're recording the next video. That's how you know you're playing in time with yourself. One, two, three, la, la, la. okay. <laughs> so if it sounds terrible, you can redo it. If it sounds great, you can click the green check mark and it will merge them together. Again, at this point, you could still click on one of these frames and re-record that half of the duet. There's some more editing and tweaking you can do. You can keep watching it to see if you think it's good enough by clicking the play button. One, two, three, la, la, okay. Click X to get out of there. You can also adjust the volume for each individual frame by clicking on this speaker volume icon. So if you click, if you have the top one, one selected, two, three. La, la. You, can, okay. you can change the volume. One, two, three. La, la. Okay. 
So now the second one is way louder than the first one. Three. Or if I click on the bottom one and turn the volume way, way, way down. Now the top one's louder. So you can tweak these to make sure that you can actually, you can tweak these, the volume for each frame to make sure that you can actually hear the melody. You might need to turn the melody up and turn the harmony down, whatever you think sounds best. I never mess with the rest of the fancy controls, but the volume control for each frame is useful, especially if you're recording different people or different instruments or people that aren't, yeah, if you just need to, need to balance it, that is super helpful. So when you have it balanced how you want, you click OK. And then when your video is all done, um, you can change some of the colors and stuff if you really want to. One, two, three. Like you can have these different color effects. <laughs> um, so when your video is all finished, X out of there, you want to click the save and share. Entering a caption, not really important. This is very important. It is defaulted to public, which means anyone can see your video. You don't want random creepy people on the internet seeing your video. So click on private. Now it's private. The way you're going to want to save this is save to camera roll. So click on save to camera roll. I'm going to go with the default because I don't want to upgrade. And then now it's saving to my actual phone. So it's done. So now I can go to my photos and that video would be in there as if I had just taken that video. Um, but you're going to turn this in through Flipgrid. So within Flipgrid, you can go to your class and there is a way to upload do, do, do. I'm not really logged in on my Flipgrid app right now, apparently. But there is a way to upload a video that you have already recorded on your phone. When you go into the Flipgrid app, there will be a, on the like recording feature, there will be a dot, dot, dot at the bottom. You can click the dot, dot, dot and upload an existing video and then choose that out of your phone camera and upload the video that you saved from your acapella app. And that's how you will turn in your video. Have fun.